Everybody loves pizza, especially this guy. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a pizza at home. It's gonna be delicious. We're gonna do a sweet chili chicken pizza with our holy guacamole avocado verde. Let's get right into the recipe. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is get to our dough because it's gonna take the longest. So I have a nice sheet tray here. I'm gonna drizzle a touch of olive oil over the bottom and that's gonna help our pizza dough not stick. All right, now if you are a rock star, you can make your own dough from scratch and that's awesome. But if you want to take a shortcut, a little bit more convenient, you can actually buy this pre-made uh, in the grocery store. It's usually in the bakery department. It's like a nice little package, but you can buy pre-made pizza dough, which is what I did. So we're just gonna use our hands. And we're gonna delicately and lightly stretch it out until we have a nice thin dough. Now you don't have to make it perfectly even all the way around. You'll get some crispy bits and some doughy bits and that's kind of fun. So we go down on top of our olive oil and you can kind of spread the dough out a little bit with your hands. Kind of fill out the pan a little bit. And I'm gonna do another little drizzle of olive oil on top and hit it with just a touch of salt and pepper. Perfect, now we're gonna go into a 425 degree oven for about 15 or 20 minutes. We're not gonna cook it the whole way. We're gonna go about you know, 65, 70% done. All right, let's get to our chicken. Now this is gonna be really, really simple. We're just gonna start with a little bit of coconut oil in our large saute pan and add our chicken with just a bit of salt and pepper and cook it until it's nice and evenly cooked. All right, it's been about six minutes. My chicken is all done. I'm gonna move it over here to my cutting board and we're gonna cut it up nice and small. Then we're gonna add it back to our saute pan and add our sweet chili sauce. Now we're gonna give this a nice little toss to coat on all sides of the chicken. That looks absolutely beautiful and it's gonna get really, really silky and shiny in the outside. So our pizza dough should be done. Let's give it a check. All right, and that looks so beautiful. Now it's not completely finished. It's still just a touch soft on the inside, but that's okay, because in just a second, we're gonna put it back in the oven. So the first thing we're gonna do is put down just a touch of marinara sauce and spread it evenly around the bottom of the dough. We're gonna go with our chicken. Now some of our tomatoes and onions. And one of my favorite parts, the fresh herbs. Now I have some basil. Now you can cut this up if you like to, but you can just rip it with your hands. It feels a little bit more intimate with your food. Let me make it taste better, there we go. Here's a fun little trick with oregano. If you take your stem and you hold the top and you pull straight down, you get all the sweet little leaves just like that. Cool, and just let it fall where it falls. Now we're gonna add a touch of olive oil, a little salt and pepper, and we're gonna add a touch of mozzarella. Now we're gonna go back into the oven for about, let's say 15 minutes, maybe 10 minutes. We just wanna melt and cook all the ingredients on top and finish cooking our dough. All right, our pizza is just about finished. The only thing we have left to do is add our holy guacamole, avocado verde, and our little crispy tortilla strips. All I did is took some fresh corn tortillas, sliced them into little julienne, added them to some coconut oil to crisp them up and make them nice and crunchy. So let's grab our pizza. Oh my goodness, that looks absolutely beautiful. The cheese is nice and golden and crispy. Mm -hmm. Let's add our avocado verde. This is gonna give a really refreshing contrast to that sweet chili on the chicken. It's gonna be amazing. All right, last little bit, our tortillas. This is gonna add a fun little crunch. And that, my friends, is awesome. Let's cut into this. Oh, it looks so good. Mm-hmm. That crust is nice and crispy. Mmm, that sweet chili on the chicken is amazing. Unbelievable. You guys need to make this for your friends. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you loved that recipe. We're just kind of piling layers and layers and layers and layers of flavor. It's absolutely delicious. I hope you guys make it for your friends. If you want this recipe so you can make it at home, go to our website, eatholy.com. You can find this recipe and a ton of other fun recipes. Also, click that subscribe button, click the like button, and leave us a comment. And if you do make this at home, take a picture and send it to us on Facebook. We love to see that kind of stuff. I'll see you guys in the next video.